I guess a uniformity report on, on our evaluations to, to make sure we're being um, vigilant and, and given good information. You know, it's really based off the old bell curve type, um, you know, adage. But you know, it's, you know, it is what it is. The teachers uh, perform and they're uh, evaluated accordingly. So there's no requirement. Um, it, I mean, it is possible for all teachers to score, you know, at a certain level. Is it likely? No. Those those rubrics and the um, indicators and criteria for uh, them scoring at a certain level is very, very rigorous. And, if, and again, last year was our first year with with our teachers and our administrators. Our administrators are learning the system as well as the teachers. So you know we we're still we're not we're not perfect with it yet. Um, but I do I will say I think it's a great tool for supporting teachers and, and being more focused and targeted. And I think that was the intent of it is forcing our administrators to sit down with teachers and have more face-to-face -face conversations about specific areas, whether it's specific areas of, um, you know, excellence or, or uh, maybe deficiency. deficiency. So, you know, I think that's a good thing. That's just going to make our instruction that we put in front of students even better. And Dr. Brins is exactly right. The categories that are required are, again, induction level teachers. That's a brand new teacher coming right out of school. Those returning to the professional profession after an absence, those working on a non-renewable certificate, those working in a certification field which they have not worked before, and those new to the state. Those are the teachers that will be required a professional learning plan. For a remediation plan, it will be teachers that score a level one or a level two on the TEATS, on their observation, they'll be required a remediation plan. Um, well, this year, like Dr. Brinson had said, that we had um, a majority of our teachers on a level three. There was not a lot. It was a, a learning year, and um, we have some things in place to hopefully make sure that our reliability in that observation instrument is even better next year. So there's not a lot of required remediation plans at this time. However, there are some. Mr. Roy, I'll give you a percentage. I'm very comfortable saying that was less than 10 percent, probably closer to 5 percent. I mean, so it was a very low it's very threatening. It seems, from the what I've heard, what I've been told, it seems very threatening to teachers. I think that's a, a very valid point, and it's going to have to be on our part as administrators and the board office to communicate this new vocabulary and um, reassure them that. Wayne County is never out to get teachers. We're here to make them the best they can be. And sometimes a remediation plan helps a teacher become the best they can be, as well as um, a learning plan. So it's not about a get you, it's about the kids and academic achievement and what we got to do to make you the best teacher you can be. One thing I think is a, something important to point out, point out that some teachers, it's a big change um, in years past. Some teachers only saw um, an administrator for a formal observation once a year. And the most was three times a year. Now we're forced to go through um, two cycles. And help me out, principals. How many visits is that per teacher? Is it six? six. six. So mm -hmm. now we're going into every teacher's class basically six times. So that in itself may feel a little. I got an administrator in my class six times. Well, that's the requirements. So I, I could see how they could interpret that as a little threatening, but that's certainly not the intent. We've already addressed um, a little bit this with the teachers, and hopefully are easing some of those tensions and some of those concerns and we have a, a definite plan to amp that up and that communication up as we move forward. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moss. I could have a question. Mr. Moss, yes. one more question? Absolutely. Sorry. I do have a question. Um, one of the things, it seems to me that it's nationwide uh, that your teachers coming from, from particularly from uh, undergraduate schools, um, that we have, we have not really concentrated on ways of keeping. Is there something in this new program that really speaks to that? Well, really exciting news on that front is that yes, an induction program is what we're working on right now. Wayne County has broke ground as of even yesterday. Um, Ms. Denty put together what I consider uh, an excellent, superb mentor-mentee program 
where we are pairing up teachers with mentors, but in a little different way than it's been done in the past. In, in the past, I believe it's been a little more informal, where we've said, here, here's your teacher, go and talk to them. Uh, but this time, we have set up a training for the mentors without the mentees being there. We specifically train them on exactly what we'd like them to do with the teachers. We have scheduled dates throughout the year to follow up and have specific um, times when these mentor and mentees get together and do some things that are guided by the district. So there's a, a whole lot of things in the induction program that are going to make, a, I think, a huge difference in the support of a brand new teacher. Absolutely. You're right, that's a, a concern that is um, out there all over, and I think we're acting on it. And again, I just want to compliment um, Wayne County and Ms. Denty on the mentor-mentee program that we're putting on right now. It was off the, I was going to say off the chain, but off the chart, so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And that was uh, identified in our SACS visit back uh, over a year ago. It also, it's in our strategic plan as a goal, so that's something we are working toward addressing. Session to discuss or deliberate upon appointment, appointment, conversation, hiring, disciplinary, disciplinary action or dismissal, or periodic evaluation or rating of a public officer or employee, or to interview applicants for the position of the superintendent. Have a motion to take the session. Absolutely. 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 